The Sharpe Ratio is the most commonly used metric to measure a portfolio's performance. So here we've defined the Sharpe Ratio as a portfolio's excess returns per unit of the portfolio's total risk. Now let's look at the formula in blue to break down what this means. So here we see that Sharpe Ratio equals the portfolio's total returns minus the risk-free rate divided by the standard deviation of the portfolio. Okay, so on the top we see portfolio total returns minus risk-free rate. That is the excess return. So we're talking about the returns that we get for investing in this portfolio in excess of the returns that we would get if we invested in a risk-free asset like a U.S. Treasury, for example. In the denominator, we see a, the standard deviation of the portfolio. So that is the portfolio's total risk, the variation in how the portfolio's um, price moves, okay? So we're seeing how much excess return we get for how much risk we take. Obviously, a higher value is better. We want higher return and lower risk in any portfolio. Now, let's assume that we have two portfolios. Portfolio A has an expected return of 10% and a risk of 14%. Portfolio B has an expected return of 12% and a risk of 16%. Let's see which portfolio is preferable according to the Sharpe ratio. So starting with A, we'll take the portfolio's expected return of 10% and subtract it by the risk-free rate of 3% and then divide by the uh, total risk of the portfolio, 14%. So on the top, we said that's our expected or our excess return. So the, we have an excess return of 7% divided by the total risk of that portfolio, 14%. And then we end up with the Sharpe ratio value of 0.5. Now for portfolio B, we would take the expected return of 12%, subtract from the risk-free rate of 3%, so the risk-free rate doesn't change between either portfolio. And then divide by the total risk of 16%. So our excess return for this portfolio is actually 9%. And then we get a sharp ratio value of 0 0.56. And because 0 0.56 is higher than 0.5, we actually prefer portfolio B according to the sharp ratio. As for the Trainor ratio, this is very similar to the Sharp ratio, but with one minor change. So the Trainor ratio is a portfolio's excess returns per unit of the portfolio's systematic risk. So with the Sharp ratio, we said it was per unit of the portfolio's total risk. Here with the Trainor measure, it's just the systematic risk. Now, the total risk is equal to the systematic risk plus the unsystematic risk. If you want to know more about systematic risk and unsystematic risk, check out my video here, okay? I cover that subject in great depth. So we see in the formula in blue, trainor ratio equals the returns on the portfolio minus the returns on the risk-free rate, just like the Sharpe ratio, that's the excess returns, but this time we divide by the portfolio beta, which is the systematic risk or the undiversifiable risk. So it's very similar to the Sharpe ratio, it's just measuring our excess returns based on a slightly different measure of risk.